boy James over at Expecto Go, bring you guys the latest and greatest and Wizards Unite content. And today, 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 we're here to give you guys our four, four tips to help you get through the darkest, darkest of times, brilliant event part two, as efficiently and as fun as possible. So without further ado, let's dive right into the tips. This first one is going to be more of a suggestion, so I won't count it towards the four tips I have for you guys. And you guys might think, James, you're crazy. Uh, this is something that just came to me, and uh, I'm just going to put it out there. I'm just going to put it out there. Uh, you guys can slam me in the comment section if you need to, uh, but uh, I'm just going to go out there and say it. You might, you might, I'm using this word very strongly might want to wait to start the brilliant event until the book night event, possibly. And here's why. Here's why. Here's why. Uh, there's reasons for it. One, flags, landmarks will be turned off during the event. So you can literally play in any area you want and not have to worry about flags and landmarks uh, messing with event specific spawns, which is huge. I'm telling you, which is huge, all right? Second, the obvious one is the Dragon uh, Port Key Portmanteaus. They're one kilometer. Them being one kilometer mixed with our new awesome feature that we're loving, Adventure Sync, and the 15 Port Key Portmanteaus we have to unlock during the brilliant event. Yo, it just all works together. Symbiosis, it just works together. <laughs> oh, three, three, three. My, my third pitch for you guys to consider, just to consider um, the high foundables uh, that you need for the brilliant event that you need to return. Um, and then with the wizarding challenges you need to knock out, particularly I think for the assignments three and four of the brilliant event, that's all taken care of during the book night event because you have to do the same thing for the task during the event, during the book night event, I'm sorry. So just imagine, just imagine if you will, only have, saving your brew for brain elixirs, because you have more time if you wait to brew more brain elixirs, using a brain, a brew for a brain elixir for two events. Well, that's four. Two <laughs> events. Two events. Like, come on. Like, you, you see it. You, you see it. If you don't see it, go ahead and slam me in the comment section below. But I just think, why not? Why not? It gives you more time to get ready and you can knock out two events in one day and have some more fun with the dragons the next day. I don't know. I'm just saying. But anyway, let's get into the tips if you don't want to have to wait. <laughs> All right. Tip number one. Uh, wait to pop your peripheral brain elixir until task number two. And here's why. Under task number two, you have to use a brew for a brain elixir. And with that being the case, if you wait, if you popped your brew for a brain elixir at the very beginning of the event, which I have a tendency of doing because I want to maximize my XP. If you do that, you have to wait an hour just to use it again, which is the first task in the brilliant event is super easy. Like you can knock that out literally in under 10 minutes. So you don't have to wait another like 50 minutes just to get the task two and use a brew for a brain unless they even complete it. So wait, wait, hold your horses to pop your brew for a brain elixir until task two of the brilliant event. That's my tip number one. Tip number two, uh, consider using the uh, Arrestal Momentum spell cast three times for task number three on the Brilliant Pensive. And here's why. Uh, out of the foundables, I have an infographic in front of you guys with the list of foundables. Out of those foundables, I think, I think the Brilliant Pensive will be the one to be least likely returned if you use the trick where you cast Arrestal Momentum slow and getting a fair cast. With the fair cast, I think the brilliant pensive is le least likely to be returned, giving you two, a couple more chances to knock out that task and move on during the brilliant event. So tip number two, consider using the trick with the Arrestal Momentum spells on the brilliant 
intensive. Tip number three, with the last task, task three and four, where you have to drop, uh, I believe, two dark detectors, return some high foundables, and uh, defeat like 10 wizarding challenge foes, and use rune stones. That being the case, my third tip is to make sure you're in an area where there's an inn and a fortress right next to each other. Task number three and four, where you have to complete the wizarding challenges with the rune stones and defeat a certain amount of foes, use dark detectors. If you can find a good spot where you can do that all at the same time without having to move for the final task, that's going to be huge. And especially to my fellow witches and wizards who are dealing with weather, uh, whether it's the snow or just the brutal cold or wherever you are, uh, you can sit in your car, find a spot, a park or whatever, and knock those out. That's going to be good for you. So when you're playing, consider a place where an inn in a fortress is readily available uh, so you can camp there and knock out the final two tasks of the brilliant event. And the fourth and final tip we have for you guys to help you get through the brilliant event Darkest of Times Part 2. That is, wait till the book night event to knock out the bonus assignment where you have to unlock 10 port key portmanteaus so you can get those three spell books. And we touched on it earlier. The dragon port key portmanteaus are one kilometers and mixed with the adventure seek, which has been coming in clutch since its release. Uh, you're gonna fly through that task and uh, get those three spell books pretty fast as well. So uh, task, or I'm sorry, tip number four, wait. Wait till the book night event. To complete the bonus assignment where you have to unlock 10 port key portmanteaus. But yo, if you guys have any other strategies, uh, tips, guys, to help with this brilliant event, share in the comment section below to help you fellow with your wizard. But um, I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you guys for stopping by and hearing my crazy thoughts and stuff like that. Uh, yo, your support is always, always appreciated, and uh, we appreciate it. you guys are awesome. Like you already know that. You guys are awesome. Uh, but if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing. Consider it. Uh, here you be getting all the latest, greatest, and uh, gameplay tips, news, and updates all around the world of Wizards Unite. So if that's something you're into, definitely consider consider subscribing. Also, follow us on our various forms of social media, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We post daily. Um, Instagram, where we feature our, one of our favorite features, um, the photo mode in Harry Potter Wizards Unite. You can take AR photos with the foundables in the game, and uh, you can get creative with it. So we have fun with it. If that's something you're into, follow us there. And for up-to-date uh, news concerning Wizards Unite in real time, Twitter and Facebook is the place to be. But I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you guys again. Hope you guys have an awesome, awesome week of brilliant events and book night events. Dragons! Dragons are back. So uh, until then, I'll see you in the next video. Until next time.